Hello everyone, this is Crypto Maximalist. Welcome back to another video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and get involved if you like the content. So we're having a look at Ethereum here. As you can see, let me just adjust this MACD because it's always out of alignment constantly. You can see obviously we've had a pretty ridiculous downturn in the market over the past year or so. Basically peaking for Ethereum a few weeks from now, this time last year at around $5,000, $4,800-ish dollars here. You can see that since then it's been pretty much downward downward momentum and chaos. Pretty interesting to see how much we have actually fallen from there. Down at around $1,500 right now. You can see on this chart that we have had a pretty significant upturn here. Followed by a massive, massive downturn. Let me just label out some key levels like this just for interest. And for, you know, you like to cut up, I like to cut up the price action and the structure of these charts. So it is very interesting to see. How things actually come together you can see here already it's looking like it's painting a bit more of an of a, uh, a picture of what's actually going on here probably got a trend line looking something like this and also a trend line looking something like this this one being particularly interesting in my opinion you can see here there's been a lot of key levels that have been lost for ethereum over the past year or so which has led to it to continue to roll to the downside we got very very overextended up here didn't we you can see obviously these massive pushes, we come back down, find a nice key level of support around that $1,800 mark, which was basically the previous swing high. Very, very simple stuff really in terms of structure. Let me just zoom in so you can see what I mean. Basically coming to the upside, we, we have a massive overextension. We come down, retest that previous level of resistance as support like this. We get the double bottom and we bounce to the upside again. Get a bit of a cooling off period to get the overextension to the upside. Losing momentum on the upside though, with these bearish divergences, obviously the price coming up and the RSI coming down. We get that roll over to the downside again, start to lose momentum, obviously rolling, losing this low here, consolidating but forming a kind of, you would say, rising wedge situation like this. We obviously break out of it, we come down to this low again, we lose it, we roll back to that previous low around 1800 and you can see here, Massive capitulation event where we saw Ethereum drop all the way down to eight, $890 here, which is absolutely incredible, really, considering how Ethereum got all the way up to $5,000. If we take a look at our ruler, let's just see how far we actually have. We fell down, what is this, 82% there for Ethereum. Obviously, Ethereum, you would say probably Bitcoin and Ethereum standing in a league of their own in, own in terms of adoption, price action, etc. You'd probably say realistically, you know, considering the altcoins usually drop 90, 95%, potentially this could be a bottom for Ethereum here. At the very least, you know, it clearly has been a local bottom because we did see price action react at this $1,000 mark very, very highly. Only a few days under there before we get, came back to the upside. Formed ourselves a little range like this. And then we did get a break to the upside here, didn't we? Essentially, you know, putting in some more bullish market structure making in at least locally putting in a bit of a higher low and a higher high you can see here the price action coming up in this nice little a nice little channel like this obviously making higher highs and higher lows but then we did hit that resistance didn't we that we have created here we rolled back over also that flip of the emas was bullish but we did fall back under our emas we're consolidating but we're making you know lower lows and lower highs here we come back down to retest just trying to get rid of that line. Basically, we came up, make a high high, and then this is your high low, isn't it? And then if we see ourselves, as we are seeing potentially here, breaking out of key resistances and coming up and making a higher high, you could say, you know, high high, high low, high high. That's a trend change confirmed, isn't it? Essentially, where you would see bit, um, Ethereum maybe starting to come up, running through some levels again, which would be very interesting. So if we just take a bit of a closer look at what's been going on recently, you could say, that this whole area here, maybe even upwards to around this area, is a bit of a range like this, which we think would be fairly interesting. Maybe you could say this is the range, more realistically, with the fake out breakout to the upside, which is what Bitcoin did in fairness. And you could say, you know, test the bottom, we test the top, we get the breakout, but we come back inside, we retest as resistance. We obviously roll back down to the middle of the range here, which was this previous resistance here, flipped into support. If I can draw a straight line, like looking something like this. And now looking like we are doing something pretty interesting, which is this resistance that we have been stuck under here, here and here. 
if I just highlight these areas for you, looking like this, resistance, 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 and looking as though now potentially that we could be breaking out and back testing that level, which would be very interesting, wouldn't it? Because if you see Ethereum do something like this, where it comes down, it back tests the level like this, maybe a bit of consolidation, and then, you know, we're continuing up towards the top of the range. This is where you want to be for Ethereum, isn't it? You want to see it coming back up, retesting these resistances again, and getting back up towards, you know, potentially making a higher high here, and, you know, testing these resistances that do need to be tested. So, very interesting times at the minute. Obviously, things have been boring. People are bored right now. We've just been going sideways, crab market. People getting shaken out of the market, just getting bored and losing interest. But as we've said in many, many videos, these are usually the best times um, to buy. We are not condoning buying at any point. Obviously, we are not telling people any financial advice at all. We're just simply saying that basically most people would say in times of boredom and you know essentially in bear markets that is when the most money is made that's a quote that is often cited and this is something that we would probably agree with considering that you could probably get ethereum do a three and a half four x here back to the all-time high fairly comfortably if you just bought it and held it until that point if you believe that ethereum is going to head back up so interesting to see here that we are potentially breaking out of some key levels of resistance for ethereum in terms of price targets, we'd simply say the top and the bottom of the range will always be the targets until we see ourselves breaking comfortably outside the range. So the top of the range here around that $1,800 level would be our target to the upside. Obviously, if we back test this level here and hold it as support around that $1,400, $1,300 level like this and then continue would be ideal. But, you know, if we do roll back to the downside of a fairly decent level of support here around that $1,250 level or back down at that range bottom at around $1,000 if we do get a large rollover. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the description below to support the channel. Grab yourself some free money bonuses and we'll see you in the next video.